Track and field stars from historically black colleges and universities took part in the HBCU showcase today in Washington Heights. As CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports, the event is a way to celebrate students and encourage student enrollment. College sophomore Malcolm Garba triumphs at balancing athletics and academics. Success comes to this 19 year old on the track and in the classrooms at Delaware State U, an HBCU, historically black college or university. A lot of students actually don't know about the opportunities available to them at HBCUs. Um, like Delaware State wasn't on my original list. And I was going to go to Temple, but they didn't have a men's track and field team. And so I contacted the coach at Delaware State University, and he actually informed me that based on my GPA, my SAT scores, I was qualified for a full academic ride. So the HBC really opened the door for me for getting a free college education as well as pursuing my dream on um, running track and field. There are more than 100 HBCUs in the nation. About 30 campuses were represented by the young athletes of this HBCU showcase at the Nike Track and Field Center at the Armory in Washington Heights. Track and field is definitely a very big sport among HBCUs, as with any other sport, but um, running is something that's very accessible to everybody like regardless of like the economic class everyone could like find access to a track he traveled with teammates from Delaware to New York City for this while his parents Sylvan and Carla and his sister Nyla arrived from the Philadelphia area to cheer him on I'm super proud super super proud I'm proud that he chose to go to an HBCU too because he could have went you know the other colleges HBCUs are here to stay I mean they just need more enrollment there was a brief pause, and this VIP guest speaker was brought to the center of the track. Good afternoon. Mayor Adams said it was important to him to come here and give a shout out to HBCUs and talk about the opportunities they provide. Part of this is a college fair with recruiters from schools and corporations giving advice. We have opportunities for just internships as well as just like representing our schools. So it's like we're here as athletes and we're also here to just take care of education and business too. In Washington Heights, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.